Hello, and welcome to the seventh video in my series on using the TI-83 series calculators. This video will focus on the basic graphing functions of the calculator. Now this is an example of what a graph will look like on the calculator, and this is an actual screenshot from Texas Instruments website. Sometimes we'll be using a cursor and it'll look like this. But since this is kind of hard to see, uh, for this video, I'm going to use something that's a little bit easier to see, this. But when you're using an actual calculator, you're going to have to squint. This is what the same example would look like in this video. Graphing can be kind of tricky because there are many nuances to it. The most basic of graphs is actually pretty easy, but in some cases you'll be messing with the window settings and that can be kind of hard. If something unexpected happens while you're following along this video, uh, this probably means that the previous user had the settings changed for whatever reason. Look in the video description and I have some quick instructions on how to reset your settings. Now we want to graph functions to see what they will look like. You're still going to have to graph them by hand to turn in, but these graphs are great for double checking. Press the Y equals button to go to this screen. This is where we will enter the function that we want to graph. Let's start with an easy one, x squared. We enter x squared in for y1. You can see that there are multiple lines here to enter functions. You can enter as many as 10 functions on a single graph at a time. Scroll below the y7 function to see that there are functions up to y9 and there's a y0 below that. Now let's take a look at the graph. Press the graph key on the far right side of the calculator and you'll see the parabola that we just entered. This is the most basic way to graph a function. Put the equation into y equals and press the graph button. Now let's take a look at the zoom menu. Press the zoom key to get to it. There are a lot of options here that I'm not going to bother going over. We're just going to go over the three most basic zoom commands and I'll make a second optional video for two more. Zoom in and zoom out do exactly what you would expect. Let's try to zoom into the left side of the graph. So I hit zoom in and it brings me back to the graph. And I have control of a cursor using the arrow keys. Notice that there's a pair of coordinates that tell you the current location of the cursor. So I go over to where I want to zoom into and I hit enter and it zooms in. Now let's zoom out. It works exactly the same way. I hit zoom, go to zoom out, and it brings me back to the graph, and I have control over cursor. I select where I want to zoom out from, hit enter, and I zoom out. Okay, so now I'm done with my zooming fun, so I want to reset it back to the way it was. So I go back to the zoom menu, and I hit Z standard. This time it doesn't give me a cursor, it just resets the settings back to the default. Now let's take a look at the window menu. This is a little more advanced and hopefully you won't have to deal with it much but let's just take a quick look at it. This tells you what area of the graph you're looking at and you can change it if you need to. Xmin says how far to the left the graph stretches. Xmax says how far to the right. Ymin says how far down. Ymax says how far up. X scale, Y scale, and X res are at 1. You want to keep them that way. And if they're not at 1, you want to change them to 1. So if I decide that I want to view from negative 15 to positive 15 on the X scale, I can do that. Or I can go from negative 3 to positive 3. And if I want to reset that, I can do that with Z standard. This will change all the window settings back to the way they were couple more things about the y equals screen. Notice that to the left of the function that I entered, the equal sign is highlighted. This means that it's going to be displayed on the graph. I can unhighlight it and it won't show up on the graph. So if I have two functions on here and I only want to see one of them, but I don't want to clear the other, I can unhighlight the one that I don't want to see. Now I can also go to the left of the equal sign to the line before the Y. 
If I hit enter here, I can cycle through different ways it will graph the function. Look, I can change it to a thick line, and this function will be graphed on a thick line. That's it for the main graphing video, but there's another video that discusses some other things that you can do with a graph.